Levante, coach just said there was just some really poor communication last night, particularly among the inside linebackers and the safeties. C can you speak to that? Yeah, just uncharacteristic uh, by both both levels, uh, linebackers and uh, DBs, uh, just uh, doing things that we not uh, – that's uncommon from us, but uh, it's definitely something that uh, we learn from, uh, especially after watching film day. Definitely something, that, something that's not – and our character, you know, uh, whatever it may be that happened yesterday, uh, we just got to let it go, let it go, get it out of our heads and uh, move move forward from it. But it's definitely something that we definitely learn from. How does your knee feel? I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine, man. Just a little quick scare, but uh, I'll be okay. Thanks. Next question will come from Mark Cook. Hey, Levante. Um, no one on this team has, has played Drew Brees He's more than you and face Sean Payton's offense more than you. Um, obviously, last night's game plan just didn't pan out at all. Over the years, when you guys have been successful at, at stopping Drew Brees and, and winning some games, um, you know, what style of defense were you guys running? Was it more of an aggressive type defense? Was it more of a man coverage? Was it more blitzing? And, and uh, why do you think the change um, – or why do you think you guys uh, – struggled yesterday or last night against the breeze. You know, the, the thing about it is that they were going over the film, you know, they didn't do anything special. A lot of stuff was mainly on us. I don't know what it was. Uh, we were just pressing, you know, just trying to make plays because we was in a situation we don't normally be in or just, you know, everybody was just all amped up and hyped up, ready to go. But uh, yesterday was just, uh, we were just put ourselves in bad situations, which is uncharacteristic of us. And uh, the communication wasn't there. I mean, we were just uh, – just drops wasn't, wasn't right. It's just, you know, just a total thing for uh, of everybody, a whole thing. But uh, it's definitely something we uh, we learned from. And, um, you know, uh, we knew what they wanted to do on us. You know, just, uh, you know, obviously, you know, uh, the Saints got the quick pass the game and try to get the ball to Adam Kamara. And um, we just wasn't able to, you know, just – get them off the field or execute uh, defensively, whatever whatever it was. Uh, and I believe the main thing was it just it was just a lot of, you know, sporadic. Everybody just was pressing, just trying to make plays and try to be perfect. You know, everybody was just pressing to be perfect. And uh, we just got out of sorts and uh, we put ourselves in bad situations. Okay, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Next question will come from Jenna Lane. Hey, Levante, you've been on this team uh, for a long time. I'm just wondering, what is it about this group, or really not even this group, because you've had so many new faces come in and out. What is it about What is it about this team that just, for whatever reason, even this year with all the new talent, um, you guys just struggle. Uh, you kind of wilt under the bright lights in these primetime games. Can you put your finger on why? I can't. I can't exactly, uh, you know, tell you why. Uh, I don't know, you know, why we why guys away as far as, you know, how they get prepared for these long, you know, these long days for the night game. But uh, it's just something that we have to be able to handle uh, because I know we have another one. I don't know when, but I know we have another one for sure. But uh, we just got to be able to, you know, handle it when we out there. Uh, uh, I mean, it really, at the end of the day, it's no matter the time, no matter the day. When you, when you When it's time to play, it's time to play. You know, and uh, last night we wasn't able to play. We ain't come with our best game, so uh, you know, for for whatever reason. But it's definitely some some that's real humbling, some that we really learn from, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, moving forward and uh, getting better. What's the biggest lesson, if any? I know this one of those games where sometimes you just want to burn the tape, but what yeah. what is the biggest lesson, if any, that you can take from this whole experience? Uh, the biggest lesson is just we're gonna need everybody. You know, we're gonna need every uh, week to week. Week to week, we don't need. We're gonna need everybody to be on the A game, whatever it may be, mentally and physically. Uh, whoever's out there on the field, all eleven guys gonna have to be playing as one. And uh, yesterday, we didn't play as one. We didn't play as a unit. Uh, so that's just something that we have to uh, get better at and um, have to start some practice. I mean, don't get me wrong. The past couple of weeks, I mean, last week our practice, you know, coach said that our practice was was great, but for some reason, it didn't carry over to the field. So we just got to get that fixed and then um, everything else take care of itself. Thanks, Levante. Yeah. Next question will come from Greg Allman. Please make sure to raise your hand if you have a question. 
Yeah, yeah Levante, just, just want to ask you about the run defense. You guys, you guys take so much pride in being able to stop the run, and it's two yep. straight weeks that opponents have gotten over 100 yards. Is there something you'd point to for why they were able to move the chains as well as they did? Uh, Nothing exactly. I mean, it just – a uh, misfit here and there, or a couple missed tackles here and there, but it's all it's a collective thing. We just need everybody to be, you know, everybody to 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 do their job uh, the way they're supposed to do it. Because in this defense, everybody have to fit the correct spot. And if one guy out out, you know, in this league, and one guy if one guy out of their gap in this league, you know, people could, uh, you know, people will expose that in this league. So, uh, the, uh, so that's just something that we have to. Fix so that's on, that's on our part, but we'll definitely get better at it. Levante, is there an urgency knowing you get some tough games coming up to to not let this carry over and to get back and get a win on Sunday in Carolina? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. I talked to the guys already. I mean, this is over. It's over with. You know, we played uh, we played last night. It wasn't the outing that we wanted. After we watched the film, we got together. Uh, it's over with. Talked to our coaches, uh, watched the film, examined it. You know, did we had to do talk how we wanted. We talked talked it out. Uh, we know what we did. We know what we did wrong. We know we could do better. So that's over with. Um, we got another division opponent coming in, the Carolina Panthers, who, are, who was a great football team, um, though, I, even though the record shows otherwise. But uh, we honestly feel that uh, they present a challenge to us. So uh, we got to be able to, to, to get better and uh, be able to play full four quarters of uh, fundamentally sound, smart football on uh, Sunday. Thanks, Lamonte. Next question will come from Rick Stroud. Levante, we're just we're used to seeing your defense, you know, play a lot of man coverage and, and on the outside and bring blitzes and, and all that. Is Camara's presence because he creates so much pressure, you know, in space? Did that did that necessitate maybe more zone than you would typically play, so that you know he's not out there on an on an island with a corner or something? Yeah, I, I would think so. Uh, you want to have eyes on him, uh, guys driving back his own stuff, having eyes on him at the same time. Whatever's called, we got to be able to execute, whether it's man, whether it's zone. Uh, like I, I told the guys before, you know, coach may not call a perfect play, but we got to make it perfect. When we out there, we got to execute the defense and, and, and make it work, no matter what it is. It may not be a good call for this, whatever they may be in, but we out there, we have to go out there and execute it, and we out there, we have to communicate it. And uh, we got to make it right when he calls it. So uh, I don't think, uh, well, Alvin Kamara, you know, I don't think he changed things up because of him. But I just think, you know, he felt like that was the right call, the right calls to, uh, to make. And uh, we got to be able to execute when we out there. We have time for a couple more. Next, we'll go to Tom Krasnicki. Hi, Levante. As a leader on this team, how do you convey to the other guys that, hey, guys, what happened last night is completely unacceptable, that can never happen again? And how would you characterize the emotions from the locker room from last night to today? Were you guys upset, outraged, ashamed? How would you describe uh, it? Yeah, guys were, guys were pissed. You've seen on the sideline, you've seen today, you've seen after the game. You know, guys were pissed because we know that, that we're not that type of team. We know that we're not that type of team, especially against a team who – we obviously wanted to to really beat and then go out there and put on a show like that on a Sunday night. You know, guys, you know, feel some type of way about it. But all I can do is just move on from it and uh, get it's going to show. It'll show how we uh, how we prevail for from it this week. Uh, like I said, you know, we were focusing on the Carolina Pass right now. They're a pretty good football team uh, with some talented weapons. So um, a lot of guys are you know took took it to heart yesterday and uh, we came in today. And the good thing about it is, you know, guys was coming up to me. I ain't have to go to nobody. Guys are coming to me, you know, that, that's unacceptable. We can't have no performance like that again. We got to find a way to get better. And uh, it's going to start this upcoming week. And, um, you know, I'm really excited to get to work this week and uh, move on from last week and uh, get back going. I don't know if you saw what happened after the game, but were you and the other guys bothered by the dancing and the showboating and the boasting on the field and in their locker room? Did you guys see any of that? Nah, nobody bothered by that. I mean, that's just that's what they do. That's the type of football team they are. And um, hopefully, we meet up again. Hopefully, it'll be a different outcome. Thanks, Levante. Appreciate it. Yep. Last question will come from Greg Allman. Hey, Levante, with Antonio Brown here on the team now. I just want to ask you. You guys are both Miami guys. I think he's two, if not three, years older than you. But mm -hmm. just want to ask you if you guys knew each other way back, going back to high school at Northwestern. Did we know each other? Yeah. 
Oh, uh, we knew of each other. I, I knew of Antonio. Um, I knew um, I knew of him, you know, by watching, you know, him in high school because, you know, Miami football is a real big thing. So, you know, some of all the top players there is. But uh, I knew him through his uh, – then his father, you know, recruited me to go to junior college. So I knew him through that. And then, um, obviously, you know, his performance in college and in the league, I've been watching because I know he's a – Miami guy, I tend to keep up guys who are from uh, hometown. So uh, uh, and then, you know, when we got to, I got to the league and he, we was able to, you know, meet and then see each other out of Miami. And then uh, we became cool. Thanks, Levante. Yep. All right. That's all we have for today. Appreciate you taking the time, Levante. Uh, no problem. Thank you. Stay safe.